Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be in Blender to make lightsabers for free. To start off, delete the default cube. Then, I'm just going to delete the thing which I already have. Sh press Shift A and click Camera. If you click the camera if you rotate, you'll be able to see the camera down at the bottom. Click the camera view, top go camera view button underneath the rotate. And then press add new workspace, F VXF, or F, I don't know, then video motion tracking. Open your video. You can't see the files because I'm recording. And open your file. Press set scene frames to give it all the frames it needs and go back into layout. Go into the camera settings on the right hand side bar and go to, to video or data. Tick background images, press add images, select movie clip and then open your clip again. Change the opacity so that it's a bit more viewable. Don't make it one or it won't show the lightsaber's effect much. Click that button up there underneath the scene and on top of rotate and you can check your video but it won't have any lightsaber. To, you need to hold a hilt to make it look more real. But the next step, press shift, press shift A and go into mesh and cylinder. Shrink it down so then it fits the, cam the camera so then you can see it in it. I'm just setting it in to the camera. Camera is that weird box thing. Delete that and you won't have the camera view which will be needed for the video. Move it into the section which you are in. Go back into camera view and it will be there. Shrink it down to the optimal, optimal size for your camera view. For me that would be pretty small due to the saber. And just shrink it down and rotate it. Until you get the correct size. Use the rotate bars to rotate the block and the move look, move arrows and the center to move around. Go into the material, set it to a mission, and create a new material and then set it to a mission. Set it to, it to whatever colour you want. Since I'm feeling like a Jedi, I'll be choosing blue. Set your mission set strength to about 60. Go into the settings bar underneath the tools, like the, and then set on motion blur, up to you. But you have to equip Bloom, and then you have your lightsaber effect. Now, find the starting frame where all your when your lightsaber starts to ignite. But only click that once it, you get to the frame which you want it to ignite. 
turn it, this is my frame for when it ignites, go down and click the button down at the very bottom next to the play buttons called auto keying. Click it and then move to whatever frame you want it to go to and then move it on top of it and then keep on moving it until you get it to the position you want and keep on going about every five frames or so till you've gotten a good amount. It will automatically key your frames in every frame and automatically rotate it. The more you do manually, the more you get. Once I, this is once I have finished what I have done. Let's say a frame goes off the saber. It won't work. So, what you need to do is go and go to the frame which it gets to the part where it's not on the saber and click auto keying again and move it onto the saber by clicking it. Click off of it again if once you're done. If you're doing multiple sabers, I recommend doing them one at a time and not on the same auto keying. Finish one saber, auto keying off, then auto keying back on for the next saber. Because it goes off on that. We click on we click auto keying, select it and move it onto the bar. Click off of it and we'll be all good. So yeah. That's basically how you make a lightsaber. But I'm not going into details. This is my rough version of how to make a lightsaber in a free program called Blender. But that's my basically it. So yeah. I hope this tutorial helps. Go into your video program and go into your files. Drag and drop whatever files you want into this video program. I'm using video proc don't remember what it's called again. But I would recommend going into here. Drag and drop all your videos into this program or whatever pro video program you want to use. For me, I have four separate clips of video and that includes this. And you can have overlay tracks, music tracks, picture tracks and all bunch, but I'd recommend just for beginners, just using video track. Music, you can add whatever music and sound effects. Add your videos in the correct order. This is not my first one. So, I, this will not work. I have to find the first one. And it's probably that one because it's so, it, because of how long it is. And it is that one. So, you go and to here and do your video and you put in all your stuff at a specific timing I accidentally messed this up by pressing control Z I just add it back in go to the end and dra drag and drop your next video in
it's not this one. So I choose the other one, place it in, then cho put in my final video. So yeah, I hope this video is for useful for you. Then, once you've gotten everything, press export. See you guys in the next video. Bye.